Okay, I'm not being sarcastic in this video. I'm actually asking, can someone set me straight? Because I, I must be missing something. So how Matt Damon could rocket NASA to Mars in real life. This article is not about how living on Mars or anything like that would be possible. It's about this movie, and it's about how, according to this article, the public is getting more excited about Mars and NASA and all this kind of stuff, right? Total propaganda crap with this movie and all this stuff altogether. Now, go down here. NASA aims to make do on a promise to send humans to Mars within 20 years. Again, not talking about in this article how any of that's possible, and I've seen several articles about this stuff now, and every article, none of them are saying about how it's possible. Because this is what I'm, I must be missing, I must not be understanding, because now, leave all the occultic stuff aside and what have you and what NASA really is, we're going to, I want to actually ask about using their own information. All the links are below. I was going to show you a bunch of web pages and all this and that. I don't need to do that, okay? Because it's all, you can double check all this stuff for yourself. It's right down there below. It'd take too long anyway. Basically, long story short, I'm using their own stuff, their own official narrative. That's why I'm asking for help to kind of understand because this whole thing doesn't make sense. According to them, our Earth has a core that generates a magnetic field that keeps our atmosphere together. That's why it's not ripped off by the solar wind. Now, they say Mars doesn't have that. That's why there's no life on Mars, because there's no core like ours to produce a magnetic field to keep the atmosphere together. So am I not understanding that right, or is that what they're saying? Because that is what they're saying, and what I mean is, is, it's, is there something I'm missing? Because otherwise, you know, NASA's really getting pretty ballsy these days with pushing these just unapologetic open fairy tales to the public. I mean, I understand with everything that's happened in the moon landing and all this kind of stuff, you know, that that's fun fairy tale stuff, but this seems a little bit more, <laughs> wow. And, and, that, and that's what I'm asking. Am I, am I not understanding something correctly? Am I missing something totally? Because I've even seen many threads on the internet where people are discussing ways to kickstart Mars' atmosphere. Matt Damon. And it's funny when they talk about the Earth's core, too, because I think Dreams Within Dreams has a pretty good point. That's, I tell you what, if I had to describe what a sun looked like, looked like, I'd say it looks a whole lot like this. You know, I think we do have a central a sun, a sun, a sun in the center of the Earth, because, boy, that sure looks like one to me. And something has to be heating the lava up. Just saying. So please help me understand something that I must be missing. Otherwise, boy, are we really, or people just really not thinking right now. And I know they're not, but holy cow, man. You know what I mean. Thank you to my subscribers.